Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. This is GMTV. You have a very, very disturbing news today, and it's been going on for about three, four days now. And now, this Nigeria terrorist army, they are intensifying their effort in make sure they buy everybody in that state. They are in Wari, they are in uh, Ugeli, they are in Bayasa, they are in Asaba. As we speak, a lot of people have been gone down. And there's, on top of this, there's still one message here of which uh, the people that are really in the, the indigenous of the area, they narrate one message here that's the whole truth about what happened because they're trying to take away their, their chief in the, in the area. And they refused. They said, no, you cannot take our chief while we are here. We have already uh, had a meeting with you. So you people are supposed to go. Instead of you going, you say you want to take our chief. They said the community people resisted that they, they will not allow them to take their chief. That's it because of the reason. Because of that, they just massacre a lot of people there. So I'm going to leave the video for you to watch it and also listen to what they have just said about this very, very one. This is GMTV. Meanwhile, the people of Okwama community in Ugeli, South local government area, have urged both the federal and state governments, as well as the military, to initiate a thorough investigation into the assault on villagers and the subsequent burning of homes allegedly carried out by some military personnel. The plea was made during an interview with our correspondent. The report. Addressing newsmen, indigenous of Okwama community in Ugeli South local government area who prefer to remain anonymous, recounted an unsettled incident that occurred on Thursday, March 14, 2024. They recalled their surprise when military personnel arrived in two boats purportedly for a peace talk with the community chairman and leaders. The villagers described how the military personnel were warmly received at the community town hall with cola nut offerings and support, leading to a peaceful dialogue. However, tensions escalated when the military insisted on taking the community chairman and some leaders for further questioning after the peace talks, which was refused. This refusal, they claimed, prompted the military to open fire, resulting in casualties within the community. Additionally, they recounted a subsequent attack on Friday, March 15, 2024, where houses were set ablaze, forcing residents to flee for safety. On the 14th of March, 2024, they at home that very day, they now saw that uh, some military personnel, army, came to Okwama. So they now welcome them. They say they want to walk around the community. They walk around the community. Say they want to go to the town hall, they have a peace talk. They now went to the town hall. They, they now attacked them as a military men. They welcomed them. So they now ask for the community chairman and the community leaders. So they sit with them and they have a peace talk together. Then after that, they now ask the community chairman and the community leaders, some other leaders, to follow them. So they say we have already have the peace talk with you people. So you have to go. They say they must take the leaders away. So they say no. So from then the army turned the whole story to violent. Right there in the community town hall, then the army started shooting our people there. Then from there, people started running. Some were killed instantly. Then everybody ran away because nobody expects a, a shooting of an army in the community that very day. Then the army now went. Within a while, the army now come back again with more reinforcement, gunboat, and all that is. And instantly, about 20 persons was killed. Then when they come back again, they begin to shoot. They kill nothing less than 50 persons. Then the following day, they now mobilize again. Some of the army, they are coming from Bamadi and some of them are coming from Okwabe. They come together and burn the whole community down. That was on the 15th 
of March. So the whole community was raised down. That very day, we don't expect that we just see some two gunboats come with army. So we can't surprise. Say we don't get problem with army. Now we ask the waiting app. We say they want they want they come for peace talk. So then we welcome them. It attained them that very day. After the entertainment, when they won't go, the person they won't take our chairman and the leaders along. We say, ah, for peace talk, we na come, we won't carry our leaders, they come out. We know go along and carry the come out. So the early army, they just change all of a sudden, you know, be like people we it at it just like, just like. Then they begin open fire. That process of firing, our youth, old women, children, die that spot. More than 20 of them that instantly. Later they come out. Where we say, look, they will come back again. Begin the open fire. Then on the 15th of March 2024, they come back again. Go the whole community. Go every house is when they say, they will come a community. Some of us now, our children we never see them. Our parents will never see them. Inside the bush now, where we hide now, so. So they body dead here. Now we they talk so. So we won't make government come rescue us. Now we they cry to the government, may they come help us. They also refuted the circulating media report alleging that members of Ukwama community initiated an attack on the military personnel in the river, dismissing such claims as entirely false. We Ukwama community, we very peaceful community. We not attack army for inside river. The army they come meet us for peace talk. We entertain them for inside our town hall. Put money, put cola, wage them for them. Daddy. Now after they won't go, after the tattoo, they won't go now. Now they come tell us, they won't carry our leaders. They follow body go. Now we say, no, it's not possible like that. Now we come for peace talk. Now we come carry our leaders, follow body, go again. We don't want them in that way. So the army, the army now, they come get angry ones. Begin the shoot. Presently now, none of us did the community again. We now attack the military men in the river. Because when they came, we are in the town hall. We tattooed them, drink and money. We wish cola for them. So they were very ha happy when they see the entertainment. Then after that, when they say they want to take the community shaman and the secretary and some of the other leaders away. It is there they say they cannot be able to follow them. When they are machines might suddenly and open fire right there in the community town hall. Kill many of the youth, the women and some other children. They urge the federal government, state government and military authorities to conduct a thorough investigation to uncover the truth behind the incident. They question why the military personnel would seek to take their community leaders with them after the supposed peace talks, emphasizing the need for clarity on the matter. I hope you have heard the whole narration. Now they are to hear it about this. What do you think about what happened? Because the army, there was no, there was a dispute, but the dispute had been settled. But at the same time, the army want to take their chief away by force, of which, you know, in any sane community, we will not let that to happen, even though you're not related to the uh, monarch, but uh, he's in charge of the area. So you cannot let that kind of thing happen while you, the youth are there, you know. So the uh, reaction was that, these uh, people, they massacred people there, the youths that are resisting. Those are the, uh, the people they are massacred. Because all this one that the Nigerian government are saying that uh, the youth kill army. But they, I think it's the army that started that and they, they, they will, uh, sometimes overpower the army. Or the army have already um, killed a lot of people there. Then before they, they left, then they came back again. You know, they left it, it. What they do when well, the ones they have killed, they will take them away, then go and dump them, then come back again and come and kill more, then take them back again. That is what the army has been doing. So, this is fake news and propaganda that the army are saying that the, the community people attack them and kill the army. What did they go and do in the community uh, in that area? That place belonged to Biafran, that is not in Nigeria. They should know about that. 
so on this very very note we're going to stop this one here today please thank you very much for listening this is gem tv today is your first time of coming across our channel please just if you would like share so comment let other people know about gem tv so we'll keep you updated on this very very issue that's going on now and also let other people know about this as well thank you for listening this is gem tv